Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look into how can you migrate workload using Azure Migrate. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let us look into the overview of Azure Migrate server migration. Azure Migrate helps you migrate to Microsoft Azure Cloud. The latest version of Azure Migrate provides a central hub to track discovery, assessment and migration of on-premises app and workloads and cloud VMs to Azure. The central hub provides Azure Migrate tools for assessment and migration as well as third-party independent software vendor offerings as well. So let me quickly show you where you can find Azure Migrate in the Azure portal first. I'm on my Azure portal. On the global search box, you can search for Migrate or Azure Migrate and select the Azure Migrate services. So this is where you would be able to perform activities like migrating your Windows, Linux or SQL servers, you can migrate SQL servers or database into Azure. If you have any RDS environment on-prem, you would be able to use this tool to migrate terminal servers to Azure as well. Along with this offers options to migrate web applications and data transfer using different types of data services in Azure as well. So let's look at the key features and we'll come back to this portal again. You can use a single portal to start run and track your migration journey to Azure. And Azure Migrate offers range of tools which will help you migrate your server, database, and more. So first key feature is Azure Migrate can be used for server assessment. So you can use Azure Migrate server assessment tool and you can assess VMware VMs, Hyper-V VMs for migration to Azure. And you can also assess for migration using other Azure services and other third-party ISV tools. The next feature is Azure Migrate can be used for server migration. So you can use the built-in Azure server migration tool to migrate on-premises VMware VMs, Hyper-V VMs to Azure, as well as physical servers and other virtualized servers and public and private cloud VMs as well. In addition to this, you can migrate to Azure using third-party tools as well. Another feature is you can use the Azure Migrate appliance. Azure Migrate deploys a lightweight appliance for discovery and assessment of on-premises VMware VMs and Hyper-V VMs. This appliance is used by Azure Migrate Server Assessment and Azure Migrate Server Migration for agentless migration and continuously discovers server metadata and performance data for the purpose of assessment and migration. And last but not the least, you can use Azure Migrate for database assessment and migration. You can assess on-premises databases for migration to Azure using the Data Migration Assistant, or it is known as DMA. And you can migrate on-premises databases to Azure using Azure Database Migration Services, or known as DMS. When it comes to VMware migration, VMware VMs can be migrated using Azure Migrate Server Migration. There are two options available, agentless replication and agent-based replication. So what is agentless replication? Using agentless replication, you can migrate VMs without needing to install anything on them. And using agent-based replication, you can install an agent on the VM for replication. Let's look into the Hyper-V migration options. Azure Migrate Server Migration is a tool for migrating on-prem workload and cloud-based VMs to Azure. Site Recovery is a disaster recovery tool. And the tool shares some common technology components that is used for data replication, but serve different purposes. The Azure Migrate Server Migration tool provides agentless replication of on-premises Hyper-V VMs using a migration workflow that's optimized for Hyper-V. You install a software agent only on Hyper-V host or cluster nodes. Nothing need to be installed on Hyper-V VMs. There are two things you need to understand. First one is replication provider and recovery services agent. 
So the replication provider is Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Provider and it is installed on Hyper-V host. And the Recovery Services Agent is the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Agent handles data replication. Let's look into the agent-based migration architecture, how it is looked like. There are some core requirements for agent-based migration of VMware VMs to Azure migration scenario. The first step is you need to have an Azure subscription, Azure storage account, and manage disk and network. Then you need to have a configuration server VM hosted on VMware. Then you need to make sure that you have ESXi and uh, vCenter host. The next step is to configure the mobility service on all VMware VMs to replicate or migrate. And finally, you need to configure your Azure storage. So now let me take you through some of the high level steps involved in this assessment and migrate. The first step is for any project is to discover and assess before starting the migration. So first step is for you to create a project, provide a project name after selecting the resource group. After you create a project, you can initiate an assessment and migration for that particular project. All right, our project has been created. As you can see that you have tool selection for assessment and migration as well. This is what I was talking about in terms of agent-based and agent-less tools option. Click on discover. This is where you would have an ability to choose where your existing workload is running. Is it on a Hyper-V or a physical box or on a VMware? Depending on your option, the below options will completely change. So if I choose VMware, this will ask you to put a name and download OVA file so you can install it on your VMware environment. If you choose Hyper-V, then the option changes to VHD because that is what you have to download and install on your Hyper-V environment. Once you download and install this, this tool will help you discover your existing environment. Then after that, you would be able to import the details and the Azure Migrate will show you all the discovered items and you would be basically able to go and see the cost analysis, the optimization analysis before moving into Azure. That's a quick overview on capabilities of Azure Migrate. I will make sure to create a detailed training on Azure Migrate in the future as well. In the next episode, we're going to look into Azure Backup. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.